25% lift in sales conversions. That's what we got on our sales page with one simple change that you can implement yourself. This was our original page. And this was the test page that beat the original page. As you can see, the only thing that we changed between these two pages was adding a section of testimonials. Now, this is something super simple and something that you can also do on your sales pages to see an increase in conversions. When we showed these results on the blog, we also asked you to share your own sales page so that we could give you some suggestions on what you should be testing to increase your conversions. And while this is really cool to give you advice, it's even better if we can give you a framework so that you can know what what you should be testing and which things have the best potential of increasing your conversions. And that's exactly what I want to show you in this video. Often when you look at a page, there are a lot of different things that you could test on that page to increase conversions. So how do you know which thing has the best potential of lifting those conversions? How do you know where to start? Well, that's exactly where this framework comes into place. The framework that I'm talking about is the effort versus results framework. So think about it like this. If you draw axes on a page and you have your X axis where you add the possible results for the test and your Y axis where you add the effort and the resources that it would take to implement that test. This would give you four quadrants. So you can then plot every test, every possible test that you can run on your page on these axes to see which one would be the best to start with. Let me give you a few examples. The first one, changing the color of your call to action button. Now, this is really, really low effort, right? It's like one click to change the color of a button. But the chances that this actually results in a significant difference in your conversions is also fairly low. So I would rate this on the low effort and low possible result scale. Now let's take adding a video to a sales page as a test. Creating a sales video can be fairly intensive, right? So I would rate this on a medium to high effort in order to create that sales video. But the possible results from going from no video to a video are also fairly high. So this one would fall in our high effort and high possible results quadrant. Another example would be changing the headline on your page. Changing a headline is extremely easy, right? You just type a different headline, but the results can be really, really high if you can nail the right headline. So this one would fall in the low effort and the high possible results. Now, as you can see, every possible test that you can run would fall somewhere on this scale. Now, of course, this isn't a scientific method. You would still have to estimate how much result you think this can bring in and how much effort it would take you to do this. Because like I said, for some people doing a sales video might be really easy, where for other people, this might be really, really high effort. So this will depend on you, your business, the resources that you have, your skills and everything else. But this framework will really allow you to find those opportunities that are low in effort for you and that are high possible results. Those are the opportunities you want to focus in first, the opportunities that fall in this quadrant. Now, let me quickly show you how easy it is with Thrive Optimize to actually start running this type of tests. Now here we have a lead generation landing page and we used one of the templates that are available in Thrive Architect to create this landing page. From there, we can go into our AB testing. If you don't see this AB button in your sidebar, it's because you probably don't have Thrive Optimize activated on your website. As soon as you do, you will see this button. You can click on it, which will then allow you to create a new AB test. You can hit this duplicate button to clone the original page. Let's edit this variation and let's change this text. Save our work. Click again on the AB button. This brings us back to our test dashboard. And then from here, we can start the test. As you can see at the moment, the traffic will be distributed 50-50 between the two variations. So let's set up a test, give it a name. And in the short description, you can give a reason why you did this test. So in this case, it might be something like uh, adding something topical, like the lockdown will help raise our conversion rates on this page. 
And then what you want to do is you want to enable the automatic winner settings. This will allow you to actually forget completely about this test. So automatically this will run for a minimum of 100 conversions for a minimum of 14 days and with a chance to be the original of 95%. So this is your statistical significance of 95%. This means that as long as these conditions are not met, your test will keep running. Now let's choose subscriptions as our goal and start this A-B test. Now, when somebody gets to your landing page, they will see one of the two variations and Thrive Optimize will keep running until there is a clear winner for this page. This means that in the meantime, you can start working on a new test because that's exactly what I want you to start doing. I want you to start with those low effort and high possible result tests. And then during the two weeks that this is running, you can start working on something that is a bit more effort, such as making your sales video. I hope I hope this framework is useful for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, leave them in the comments below. And of course, if you are an online entrepreneur, hit subscribe, hit that bell so that you're notified when we create new videos.